A very good afternoon everyone, you're here with another New York session video. Today is the 16th of June 2022. Before I start as always, I would like to highlight that this is not financial advice, this is just the way that I see the markets. I would like to share with all of you. Um, let's go to GBPUSD um, before I jump into dollar index. Uh, this is a trade idea that I shared this morning earlier in the, in the Discord channel. First of all, we were looking for sell opportunities. Um, our sell uh, limit got triggered uh, was uh, literally sniper entry so we could go break even uh, quite uh, quite immediately basically because we were trading at a one-to-one -one, uh, but then the trade came back to our entry level and we basically reversed so then we just changed our mindset we were not uh, selling GBP willing to sell GBP USD anymore we were actually looking for buy opportunities and we had a really nice one to four uh, risk to reward trades um, as a result I would like uh, to pay attention to DXY now and we can see that we are rejecting this area and it's not a coincidence because yesterday New York session closed over here, Asian session opened over here, we could see a true gap area. We could see a true gap area, we traded lower and then we traded higher. Yeah? Now during, uh, during London we created equal lows, we created equal lows, we are now spiking through, um, we spiked through the liquidity and yeah, the equal lows. And now I was expecting some reaction of this area. If I go now to EURUSD because I did share uh, a new trade ID for EURUSD. So I am expecting, I am hoping uh, for EURUSD, this is on the 15 minutes, for EURUSD to trade back into this buy to sell candle over here. Yeah. So I am expecting, I hope that we can see a little push, uh, maybe clear the liquidity up here. And this is... The, uh, this um, was let's see 12.15, 12.30. It's obviously not the most the, the best time to trade. Yeah. Um, so it was late in the late late New York London session, or late in the London open actually. Um, so I am now expecting maybe to clear the liquidity and to clear the high to trade a little bit higher than trade lower because we have a single low over here. Yeah, we do have a single low over here, and I believe that we will. Uh, probably revisit this area to trade lower. This is yesterday's low and the fact that we are failing to trade higher and we are failing to trade higher. This is for me a confirmation that we are now bearish on Euro USD. Yeah, this is for me an extra confirmation that we are bearish on Euro USD. If I go back on dollar, if I go back to dollar, then we can see that we are now stopping in this area. Yeah, we might, we might trade a little bit lower and we might trade a little bit lower. Um, but I really would like to see this area over here as a whole uh, to see being respected. Okay, of course, we can argue that we had liquidity over here. Yeah, we run the liquidity yesterday and yeah, we run the high. We traded lower. We traded lower. But the fact that we broke this low over here, um, that, we, that we broke this low over here could signify maybe a break of structure and a, and a, and a change of trend. And then we could see that during London that we actually trade back into this. We can see here the last buy candle, that clear liquidity, sell, and that was a, and that we can we can actually argue that we that we are gonna reverse now. But this is a very important level for me. This is a very important level for me. Um, if we break, if we break this level, then I actually might look um, for something like this. Yeah. If we manage to break lower, then I will look to maybe re-enter somewhere over here to then trade lower. Okay. Um, let me go back to Euro USD. I think we are close to our uh, to our entry area. Um, yeah, and as you can see, we 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 created even more liquidity. Yeah, equalos have been created over here. Um, it would surprise me. It would surprise me that we are just going to lift off from here. It's possible. It's possible, but it would surprise me. Yeah, I really would like to see Euro USD tapping into this area to then trade lower, clear uh, or trade lower as yesterday slow. And then maybe then we might see uh, might see a reversal. It's Thursday. Um, it's Thursday, so into Friday then we might see that that reversal. And if you go now on a weekly, if you go now on the on the weekly, then we might actually see. Um, let me delete the drawings. Yeah, then we might see that whole wake forming over here. So definitely something uh, something I'm looking at. Definitely something that I'm looking at. But the fact that we are so low, uh, so close to this. Uh, to this low, the low that was created 13th of May. Um, I know that GBP, GBP USD traded lower as the low of the 13th of May. So I think that um, Euro USD should uh, should play catch up as well um, before we will see maybe a major uh, major reversal. Overall, dollar is still very very bullish. Uh, if you are on a daily time frame, of course, this is 
we can see some sign of weakness yeah in dollar we can see some sign of weakness um but for me it's not enough it's just not enough to um yeah to switch my bias from uh, bullish on dollar to to bearish yeah anyway if i see now an engulfing a complete engulfing today then this might be a textbook reversal sign yeah but that's something that we have to that we have to see for now i'm really interested in euro usd for shorts um we are close to our entry area so let's see if we if we get tapped or not um i still believe in the setup uh, because we are trading with um because euro uh, dxy is trading at yeah uh, it's where i really want it to be yeah. dxy is really where i want it to be i really would like to see now rejection from this area okay hope this video was useful guys as always if you do have any questions please reach out to me to in the in the discord um if i do um, see more trade opportunities of course i will be more than happy to um, share them with all of you okay guys have a great trading afternoon see you tomorrow Bye bye